Hello everyone, welcome to ASCI Youth Corner. My name is Aditya Gute and we have one more Aditya. His name is Aditya Indra. He's a youth icon who's a senior at Bellarmine College Preparatory in San Jose. Well, his ability to solving problems for community was recognized by United Nations and more. He has also been selected as the Youth Advocate of the Year by the Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids. More importantly, he has also been recognized by ASCI for all his achievements. Aditya, if you can take us deeper into your story. Hello everyone, as you just heard, I am also an uh, Aditya. And uh, for me, I've been using STEM in a lot of different areas, and especially recently, I've been very involved in anti-tobacco advocacy because it's really a big issue in high school communities. And so I've been using my learnings from STEM in order to collect data and do research in order to support better policies that can actually bring about change. But it's not just through advocacy that I've been using STEM. During the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, we all knew that doctors and nurses needed protective equipment in order to help keep them safe while they fought to protect us. And so I took advantage of 3D printing technology. I worked with organizations to raise funds in order to help make these face shields and actually get them distributed to these workers. And without the help of organizations like ASEI and my school and everybody else who just shared these fundraisers I made, I wouldn't have been able to do anything as nearly close to as successful. And then the chances I had to work directly with ASEI through events that allowed me to meet with other students who were really passionate about STEM were an amazing experience. I got to share my project to create a robot that picked strawberries using machine learning and computer vision to identify the strawberries. I met with other youth who had their own projects, almost all of them taking advantage of the wide variety of things that STEM can help provide us. And doing this in an ASEI conference allowed me to have a chance in, an expire, in inspiring the next generation of kids to use STEM in order to bring about change. And I think that's just been a really powerful and very enjoyable experience. And I thank ASEI so much for giving me these opportunities. Aditya, that was such an inspiring story and the number of things you were able to achieve. Thank you so much for sharing your story today with the ASEI members. So, my name is Aditya Inla, and I'm a rising junior element called Preparator. And my project today is a is consists of two parts. The first being a custom farm survey model based on SSD with Inception V2 to identify properties. And the second part is an AI-driven harvesting robot to increase the efficiency of straw. And so the basic problem I wanted to solve with this uh, project is to is the fact that currently strawberry farming is massively inefficient. Uh, currently, strawberry farmers end up having to throw away approximately 30% of their crop every year once the season ends. And as a result, strawberry farming is extremely wasteful and very inefficient leading to strawberry farmers right now making less and less money and as a result the many strawberry farms are not able to be successful and with the comp and in accommodation with labor shortages and high labor costs uh, many strawberry farms are simply unable to succeed and so i thought a possible solution to help solve this problem could be image recognition services and machine learning which would be used to analyze the farm and provide more information to the farmers about their uh, about their crops. And so uh, the first part of my solution was to create a custom image recognition model to identify ripe, unripe, and semi-ripe strawberries, as current image recognition models have not been trained on fruits like strawberries, which are far smaller and oftentimes have very few distinctions between what a ripe strawberry is, an unripe strawberry, and an open strawberry. And so I collected data from multiple actual strawberry farms and used that in order to create a model that would be able to identify the strawberries. And so the first part of my model, or the first part of my solution is actually implementing that model to create a survey system on a farm. 
and within that survey system, a uh, drone or some other device would take pictures of the farm and then classify and identify the number of strawberries on the farm, as well as how ripe they are, uh, how many are overripe, and how many are still unripe, allowing farmers to more efficiently plan labor and harvest schedules. I then decided to implement that identification model on an automated harvesting system that would use a custom model in order to identify and pick only ripe strawberries. And that would help massively reduce the labor costs present on the farm, since, farm since farmers no longer need to hire as many workers and instead could simply send out uh, the robots to perform the harvesting. Here you can see the uh, flowchart for the fruit harvester robot and how it would identify where the right strawberries are and how it would actually be. And so the results of my testing for strawberry classification on images of an actual strawberry farm to prove effectiveness in the real world showed that the showed that the model was able to identify all the fruit shown to it with over 70% confidence. And when it comes to ripe strawberries, it was able to identify them with over 80% confidence. However, it struggled a little bit with unripe strawberries, mostly due to a lack of data, since I had taken many of the pictures I used to train the model during the strawberry peak season. And the strawberry, and here you can see some examples of what the screen would show to a farmer after he took pictures of the strawberries. And the unripe strawberries, the fully ripe strawberries, and the overripe strawberries have been boxed and highlighted and categorized as well. And so the harvester robot was even more effective. And uh, in test environments with different levels of light, as light would be an important factor in how accurate any model would be, in the morning it was able to identify and it was able to identify 88% of the strawberries and pick 91% of the strawberries. In the midday, it was able to identify 94% of the strawberries and pick 89%. In the evening, it identified 90% and picked 89%. And finally, at night, it picked, it identified 96% and picked 92% in total. And so, ultimately, this solution is a, that it can be used to help improve uh, farmers and make strawberry farming more efficient and more effective.